I believe he said the Rodney Dangerfield line, everybody's going to get laid. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, The the Pope had a full Caddyshack moment. Someone handed him a Mai Tai, and then Journey started playing. But was that in Ex Cathedra, Tom? Where, you know, know, anyway. I don't think it was like an official thing. Okay, that's the Ex Cathedra. He has to be sitting on the throne. And and we don't mean the bathroom. Okay. Um, So, uh,. Yeah, so anyway, so Catholic school, you're you're going through it, and were you in trouble a lot? Were you a class clown, anything like that? No, not really? at all. I was so quiet. Uh-huh. I, was, I, was quiet. I mean, I was sort of a bad kid in, like, 7th and 8th grade, I guess, but uh, that's just because everyone else was kind of bad. But uh, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of it. I, I never, I just, I don't think I was ever, I was never a bad kid. I was never, like, a terrible... Oh, I was a monster. I'm mean, seriously. Oh like, my gosh! Yeah, to, to no one's surprise. Was yeah. <laughs> just short of uh, just short of the Pierce Presley level. I mean, seriously, like I did things. I was always sent in the corner. My sister was a like, grade ahead, and um, they would uh, come in. Uh, like her class, our classes would interact a lot, and they would come in, and I would be so embarrassed because I would know. Oh, now I'm going to get busted in, at home because she would notice that I'm in the corner, and so I would like really wedge myself into the corner. Like it makes a difference. <laughs> And then um, I remember one time I also, like, when they were going through the class, uh, was coming past me, um, you know, on the, finally on their way out of the room, I stepped on everybody's foot except hers. I don't know why, but I stomped on everybody's Aww. foot but hers. And, like, like, she's not going to tell. And so she told my dad, and that led to my dad doing... This is more therapy than a, than I a guess discussion, so. I'm sorry. But, no, but it led to my dad, actually, the one time he ever t- pulled out a belt and tried to use it on me was that time because he was like really like you can't do that you're hurting kids and I'm like oh come on and he's like oh yeah well this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you he literally said that and they give me one whack with the uh, with the belt and I started crying I go ow and he starts crying more than I did Aww. it was awesome very sensitive <laughs> European man and then he held me and said I'll never do it again and, he didn't. and then now I'm undisciplined yeah, well. <laughs> so, I think, anyway, uh, but what about altar boying? Uh, any, uh, <laughs> what about altar boying? Well, well, I'm saying, like, were you an altar boy? Oh, yeah, I was an altar boy. Serving, yeah. that's the word. Yeah. As did a you server. Have, yeah. Did you ever, um, you had to light the candles on the altar? Oh, I love that. That was my favorite part. I, oh, when yeah, I was an altar boy, that was like, I always got really nervous um, that I was probably going to burn the church down or something. <clears throat> and, like, my hand shaking and stuff was always oh, yeah. an issue for me. I always got nervous holding the incense. I would hold the incense. Sometimes I'd hold it, like, on the heart, hot metal part, and I was, like, burning my fingers. Just to like, feel this alive. Is, right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'd say it's for the Lord. Oh, I feel the pain. Offered up. Um, but, yeah, I was... Uh, up, yes. um, I like the all, yeah, but yeah, because the altar boy they had those moments like where you'd pour the water on the priest's hands yeah. and you'd get the water and wine. Like that's that's what I lived for. Do you have to ring the bells? Uh, Some, I sort of was out of it by the oh, time. Ring the were, bells? What? There we go. <laughs> uh, I was sort of out of it when they started that's ringing the bells. School. Like yeah, there was also the thing where they'd put the the metal thing under your chin. So mm-hmm. if you, oh, the, the, the fell patent, out of your mouth. the patent. Yeah, they got rid of both those things. It was pretty. Uh, I know what's happened. To the wait, uh, I, I'm sorry. Just uh, so, you speaking up here. Putting metal under your chin. Well, it was like, uh, like a little <laughs> frying pan. Sort okay, of yeah. So the priest <laughs> would. You're not making it sound <laughs> any better. Tom. No, no. So the priest would hand out the the communion host. Okay, the body, the of, body Christ. of Christ. Uh, yes, the Jesus. consecrated body of Jesus to the people. And in, and in those days, you would um, uh, stick your tongue out and receive it because you could not touch it until like the 70s. And so uh, the 70s, anything went. Yeah. And so. Um, so anyway, so the, everyone was cool with people touching anything in it the seventies. Pretty much swinging, baby. Yeah, I'm kind of holding back from something sacrilegious. Anyway, but but so then, um, so they uh, the altar boys would have this little metal uh, dish on a on a handle, and they would hold it underneath each person's face as the priest is you know, giving it so that the body would not risk hitting the floor. You dropped it, anything like that. Yeah, and if you, you ran into somebody you didn't like, you'd rub your feet on the carpet and then give them a little shock. Uh, oh <laughs> wow. Oh, I little, never thought that. That's a little trick good. of the altar board trade. <laughs> right, right. Little wow. Little Can yeah. I say, uh, going to the transubstantiation, the 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 essentially. Pardon the, me, boy. <laughs> the, uh, transubstantiation. <laughs> You'll speak when spoken cup, to. <laughs> cup full of wine. <laughs> I'm gonna re- I'm gonna take back a dollar because that was awesome. Yeah, that was fine. Uh, I just wanted to to, to broach that topic because it's uh, more so. N- no, more so when I was a kid. No, it's just as creepy now. Uh, the whole transubstantiation thing, creepy, right? What is that? 
when the, bo- the, 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 the process of the cracker turning into Jesus' body. I never okay. really took Tread it. carefully, gentlemen. Okay. I never took it literally. Like, I was always like, like, I, when I, like, now when I hear comedians talking about it, I was like, oh. Like, I never, I was just like, no, it's just a wafer yeah. thing. I never thought, like, oh, it's a body of, like, I just was like, okay, you guys can do your little thing. Yeah. It's, but it's even, adorable. Even, <laughs> even at my most devout, I don't think there was a point where that didn't really creep me out. I yeah. mean, if you really give it too much thought, maybe it's a little creepy. But I don't know. I, I just, I've never had a problem with it either way. I, 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 I believe in the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. It's well, I, okay. I think know. it's just like the whole like sitting, standing, kneeling. Like you just <laughs> don't think about. It. But it is funny if you're an outsider. Like, why do I keep getting this is up exhausting. and exhausting? Yeah, <laughs> it's like Tybo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Tybo. Um, but. Um, yeah, but you know the the thing also is uh, all the recitations now. Mm-hmm. Like they, about five six years ago, because uh, you're supposed to always re- repeat the stuff back to the priest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there was a stretch where I wasn't going to church very much, and um, and, it, and and I think that they purposely changed some of the prayers in order to bust those those people who aren't going very often. Oh, so they make a fool of themselves yeah, when they say, and also like, with you? the old version, yeah, now it's like, you know, and also with you and with the, you know, the history of the universe or whatever. And you're like, well, <laughs> And with well, your spirit or yeah, something? Yeah, like with that. your spirit. But someone uh, says the wrong Shame to you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> back at you. Someone turns around when right they say the wrong thing. Right back at you. <laughs> and, then, and then everybody now does like the, the stupid thing. I, I really, this annoys me. I'm old school. I do not raise my hands up like I'm joining the priest. And it's like, no, that's his job. It's about my patron. Ah. I don't well, do the hand raising. Do, with do it. you hold the lighter up though when he gets the really good hymns? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I lived in Mexico for uh, oh yeah six months, and I was volunteering in Juarez, and I was like, it was like a super Catholic, the Salesians, and they were so like I'd get up at six every morning, go to church. And we'd go to this, uh, they called it an oratory, which was like a rec center for all these kids and gangs and stuff. It was mm. a very poor area of Juarez. So, we, like, I got into the whole, like, doing the sign of the cross and kissing your thumb at the end and mm-hmm. then, like, the, the uh, oh, yeah, raising your hands up. Like, oh, okay. Was, Did they do all that? Yeah, I was uh. very, uh, it was, I mean, I was very, uh, I was into it. I was into it. Um, but I think because I was literally doing like the Lord's work because I was literally like volunteering yeah, like and boots on the ground stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was getting some of the kids were like, you know, like they, I once got hit with a two by four by a kid. What? Yeah, it was like just he was like on drugs. That's awful. Yeah, anyway, I'll say yeah. that is awful. But uh, but no, but I mean that that was actually the experience that made me get into comedy was was working with these kids in the gangs because oh. I started playing guitar for them. <coughs> I play like classic rock songs on my oh, guitar cool. and I play like Nirvana and stuff and they nice. just got such a kick out of it. And that's sort of what brought me out of my shell and like I was like oh, if I can do this I can cool I can entertain <laughs> I can entertain the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> I can entertain hardcore cholos. I mean. Come on, hecklers aren't as bad as getting hit with a two by four in Mexico, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, some of them. If you can survive that, you can survive yeah. anything. <laughs> the things I've seen. <laughs> yeah. But when was... um, when would you say your like faith started to lapse? I guess. Um, Wayne, not lapse, right? Or... <laughs> well, I guess it depends. Try I to mean, keep our advertisers happy. Huh? Yes. No, no, got no, advertisers. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> is this sponsored by the church? Sponsored by <laughs> Cliff's Wafers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Father Cliff, the holiest wafers. <laughs> no, we go ahead. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I guess um, it's right when I get married. No, I was. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I guess it was just sort of my wife. My wife's pointed out like very simple things to me of just like, just like to be a good person. For the sake of being a good person, like, why does religion have to, like, play into that? Uh-huh. And it's sort of the same with my comedy career that she helped in that. She said, you know, like, when I told her, like, I just want to get on Conan. I just want to get on Conan. That'll change everything. And she's like, well, then what? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I think it was, you know, a lot of people laugh at that. But I think it was just that um, it just sort of pointed out, like, you have to enjoy what you're doing right now. Because, yeah. Because if you're not enjoying that when you get to this thing of doing it and it's like well now what's next as opposed to like wow look at all these cool things i'm doing along the way so i think it was the same with being catholic it's just like well it's okay just to be a good person like you don't have to do all the symbolic stuff of like going to church and all that like just being a good person and and in your daily life and helping others like i felt like i was more catholic volunteering in juarez and working with gangs like i didn't have to go to church to do that i'm mm-hmm. making a difference weren't they going to lives. church at that time I mean, oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mean yeah that was like it was all that was like 24 yeah. 7 like i would, it felt a little like a cult but you're saying looking yeah. back you feel that that was more a profound experience than 
dropping in on Sundays. Then just no. going to church yeah. on Sunday and sort of going through the motions because I did feel like, you know, like, I mean, it's it's sort of like, <laughs> it's sort of like watching a comic doing the same routine. You're kind of like, all right, let's let's, let's change it up a little <laughs> yeah. bit. Let's do some uh, prop stuff. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's why so, they, that's why they changed the lines a few years back. It was just like, right, like come yeah. on. They're, they're, but yeah, their you idea of like pro- progress is yeah. like, yeah, hey, we're gonna say and now uh, we're saying things like consubstantial with the father dropped in the middle of the uh, Nicene Creed, and that that was the one that threw me. I, I kept saying the old stuff when I'd go home, and then my whole family would look at me like sinner. Do you wouldn't... find that like uh, after having gone to church for years and years and years, <coughs> like the the recitation of the words just sort of lose all meaning, and you're just kind of going through the mm. right, just like feeding it back, you know? That's what a lot of people do. Geez, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it just feels yeah because I, I I've been to mass recently and I'm like yeah all the prayers have changed and it's like see they're tricking uh, you yeah, yeah. And it's like oh yeah now it's like Lord I'm not worthy for that you enter under my roof yeah but oh boy instead of uh, so you trust your improv training yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah uh, but but um, uh, I guess did, did you ever have any mishaps as an altar boy I'm, I'm feeding into my own story but anyway. um. I didn't personally, but I remember one time the altar boy, one of the guys with me, fell off the altar. Oh, uh, awesome. And, like... Wait, what was he doing on the altar? Or well, you know, he'd oh, bring oh, in the water oh, and line up, uh-huh. and then he'd pour the water on his hands, and then he came off, and he, like, missed the step and just <laughs> went straight down. And he fell down on his face, and he had, like, a fake tooth, and his fake tooth fell off. Uh, <laughs> so he just looks up, and he's just smiling and uh, just laughing. He has no tooth. I just thought that was the... The priest is like, we're not coming back from this one, folks. Right. Why don't we just try again next week? Yeah. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> right, this mass is over. Oh, my God. Jesus uh, isn't going anywhere. He'll be there. Listen, I, we tried. <laughs> that's oh, that's get the, the lesson, really. You do the weddings. You get the tip at the end. You get yeah, the, uh, I forgot about that. Sometimes the funerals... Yeah. Wow, it was always a little awkward. Yeah, like, we're looking for playing it up like, "Hey, a good funeral, huh? Yeah, you did pretty good. Huh? You keep it fair." <laughs> I, um, I, you know, I, I remember uh, the, the, probably the, the the two times that the priest was super stumped in all the years I've ever seen mass uh, was that uh, one time I was in the audience or a congregation looking in, like one of the school masses. You know, where they always made you go like. Uh, like two classes a day would go Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, and then everybody together on Friday, like it's some big celebration. And um, anyways, this one time, TJ Hargett, who's still one of my best friends, he um, accidentally spilled the wine after it had, and they weren't sure if it had been, uh, if it was quite the blood yet or the wine still. Uh, it was, it, they almost had to have like a referee call or whatever. It was crazy. But he spilled it all over his tennis shoes. And they were trying to figure out, what do we do? And the priest is like, seriously, like looking around and trying to figure it out. And I think he went to the back and like started flipping through a book to see what to do if you spill the precious blood on your, t- on your tennis shoes. Salt and soda water. <laughs> yeah. Salt. <laughs> well, is, is that before or after you canonize the shoes? And so I was going to say they're canonize the shoes. It's, the shoes technically <coughs> belong in Rome right now. They, they belong yeah. to the Vatican. No, right. So. The, the shoes of Turin. <laughs> oh, that's an awesome. Uh, or sort of awful too. So, uh, but um, uh, yeah. Then the other time was um, one time. I remember these names so clearly. Brian Weinzimmer, and he was the son of my second grade teacher. Who I have evil stories about her in a minute. But um, Brian Weinzimmer. <laughs> Uh, one time he dropped the host as like like that's when we were just allowed to start putting it on our hands receiving it in our hands and he drops it and like hits the floor and everybody's like oh you know like it was seriously like hold up like it was a traffic jam and they had to figure there was like a process to picking it up in a certain way and like uh, you know handling it a certain way and the priest had to like you know, scoop it up somehow and then take it to the back. Put a little yellow tape out. around it. Okay. He went, yeah, it he went on to write, let the bodies hit the floor. Let the body hit the floor. <laughs> yeah, a little chalk outline. Yes! Okay, that's a minus five. <laughs> but really, going... We're taking $5 back from St. Vincent because that was extra awesome. But really, like when you were growing up, no part of like the Catholic ritual, any of the catechism like creeped you out. There's a lot of fire. There's a lot of blood. Fire. I, I always thought it was interesting when growing up, like where they would like you first time you'd go through confession, they would tell you some of the sins you possibly committed. Oh yeah, <laughs> like yeah. here's some things you might want to mention. It's like uh, just check it off, like a sushi restaurant. Just right. check it off. We'll pick it up. <laughs> right, like or like an Amazon wish list. Like if you <laughs> if you sinned here, you uh, might have also sinned. A lot of here. people who masturbated yeah. also. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. That's but I, good. I'm not but I just that. like, you're like jotting men to make him. Well, yeah, I, I guess I oh, kind of yeah. stole it. I forgot that was a sin. Right, right. right. Are you talking about like the first I guess I lied too. that they're like, well, going, even oh, after, did you have a fight with your brother and sister, right. maybe? Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, but, leading, leading the witness, you're on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 yes.